The Tale of Two Sisters There was a man named Manawi who came to court two twin sisters. But their father said, You may not have them in marriage until you can guess their names. Manawi guessed and guessed, but could not guess their names. The young man was sent home repeatedly by their father. One day, Manawi took his little dog with him on his guessing visit, and the dog saw that one sister was prettier than the other, and one was sweeter than the other. Though neither sister possessed all the virtues, the dog liked them very much, for they gave him treats and smiled into his eyes. Unfortunately, Manawi failed to guess the names of the girls and was forced away home. But the little dog ran back to the hut of the young woman. There, he poked his ear to the side of the walls and heard the woman giggling about how handsome and manly Manawi was. Then, they called each other's name. The little dog heard and ran as fast as he could to Manawi to tell him. But on the way, a lion had left a big bone with meat on it near the path, and he smelled it immediately. And without another thought, he veered off into the brush, dragging the bone. There, he happily licked and snapped at the bone till all the flavor was gone. Oh no! The tiny dog suddenly realized he forgot the names of the two sisters. The little dog runs back to the sister's hut, and now it's night, and he sees them getting ready for a big celebration. Again, the two sisters call each other by name, and the dog runs back with joy to tell his master. But then he smelled fresh nutmeg, and there cooling on a nearby log was a kumquat pie. Well, soon enough, the pie was all gone, and the little dog trotted home with nutmeg breath and a very full belly. What were those girls' names again, he thought, but lo and behold, he had forgotten. This time he would get it right. So finally, the little dog raced back to the sister's hut again, and this time, the sisters were readying themselves to be wed. Oh no, thought the dog, there is hardly any time left. And when the sisters called each other by name, the little dog put the names into his mind and sped away, absolutely and resolutely determined that nothing would stop him from telling the names to Manawi. The little dog spied some small fresh kill on the trail, but ignored and vaulted over it. He thought he smelled the nutmeg, but he ignored it and ran toward home to his master. But the little dog did not plan for an evil man to leap out of the bushes and grab him by the neck. He shook the dog so hard, he felt his tail may fall off. The man yelled, Tell me those names! What are the names of the young woman so that I may win them? The little dog growled and scratched and finally bit the stranger between the fingers. The stranger bellowed like a water buffalo, but the little dog would not let go. Let go and I will let go of you, said the evil man. The little dog snarled between his teeth. Do not come back and you will never see morning again. The stranger escaped into the bush and the battled and bloodied little dog made his way back to Manawi. Even though he was exhausted and his jaws ached, he remembered the names of the two sisters, leaped into Manawi's lap, and told him the names. Manawi gently washed his faithful friend, put him high on his shoulders, and walked proudly into the village of the two sisters. Manawi reached the father with the names of the twins, and the sisters received Manawi dressed to start the journey back with him. Manawi won two of the most beautiful maidens of the Riverland, and all four, the sisters, Manawi, and the little dog, lived together for a long time to come. back in time 
Together.